Jin dobre. Today, I'll be discussing a few things that brand new gun owners worry about. We are clear, 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 still clear. Look in there, look in there, clear. Sweet. PSA Micro Mag. A lot of you veteran gun guys, you actual gun guys, you won't be able to relate to this. One of the things I worry about as a new gun owner is carrying, having to carry my weapon, especially the first time. The first day having to awkwardly smush this thing against my body, trying to figure out what position I want to carry it at, and then having to step outside of my house in public carrying this thing instantly in my mind i was i was doing something most highly illegal and very sketchy this is very illegal i mean this is a, this is a fine you know if they, if they catch you with this again yes i know that sounds silly for most of you gun veterans a lot of you internet John Wicks out there. But for me, as a noob shooter, I wasn't comfortable with it, you know? It took me quite some time to get over it, to be comfortable carrying in public. And what helped me get over it, of course, was to carry as much as I can, which is not always easily because, unfortunately, at my place of employment, us civilians are not allowed to carry, which kind of sucks. That limits me to carrying mainly on the weekends or pretty much when I'm not at work. Please, you do not need to chime in the comments and let me know how you break your, company, your company's rules by carrying on the job. Anyways, good for you, good for you. So, whereas if you get caught at your job carrying, you may get a slap on the wrist, you may get shit canned. I work on a federal installation. I get caught as a civilian who's not authorized to carry. I've just opened up a whole a massive can of worms for myself. And um, I don't know about you guys, but I actually like my job. Number two, another thing new gun owners worry about, I still kind of worry about this, just not as much as I first did, and that's printing. I couldn't get around, I couldn't figure out the mechanics of how not to print. And, hold on, hold on. What really blew my mind, or made it difficult for me, brush the dust off this uh, Safari Land, Yes, the Safari Land holster was my first holster. No claw or wing, whatever you want to call it. And this clip is quite skinny. So with this on my belt, it pretty much flopped around. On my not even gun belt, my cheap, flimsy Walmart belt. So it would flop around, the uh, pistol grip always sticking out. And it felt like I was printing excessively because I was printing excessively. Did my research afterwards. I figured out how the whole concealment game works. Still, I was never too comfortable. A lot of new shooters, we are not gonna be comfortable with printing. Even though I was carrying this teeny tiny 43X, once it was strapped to my person, to me, this felt like, felt like this full-size Glock 17, which is clear, 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 still clear. Damn, the slide on this. 
God, it feels good. See that? I, I can't wait to carry it full size now. Man. This feels so much better than this. It just does. But I'm getting sidetracked. So yeah, this is what it felt like to me, mm -hmm. carrying this little 43X. It felt like I was trying to conceal this giant full-size Glock 17. This is what printing felt like to me. Like, boom, like this. It's what I felt like every time I left the house, people. That's pretty much what I felt like. Even though in reality, if you look, around, look out at the general population, no one's actually paying attention to you. Everyone's walking around. Nine out of 10 people are walking around with their heads buried in their phones, not paying attention to their surroundings. So once I, you know, once I realize that, I don't worry about printing as much now. But as a new gun owner, yes, printing is a big worry. Number three on my list, the uh, 3006 signs, or is it 3006? However you gun guys wanna pronounce it, whatever. To this day, I still worry about those signs because it's not something that's common for me. It's not something I'm used to seeing. It's not something I ever needed to look out for in my normal life. It's a strange, it's a strange thing to get used to. Every building I walk into, I have to pay attention to the doors for these silly little signs. And then there's certain rules to these signs depending on how big the text or the font is or red stripe, no red stripe slash across the, it's, it's the most ridiculous, silly rule you have to pay attention to, which to this day makes me uneasy as hell. Thank goodness I'm not in a state like California or Maryland where they have things much, much worse. Number four on my list, it still worries me as a gun owner today, and that's having to use my firearm in a self-defense shooting, having to defend myself with this thing. Mm -hmm. Not worried about getting shot, not worried about getting shot at, that's not the main worry. The main worry is the aftermath, the, the legal shitstorm I will now be thrusted into for trying to defend myself. Because we all know the cops and the media, the CNN, they're all gonna try to make the person that was defending themselves seem like the criminal. It's gonna be like, oh, you didn't have to shoot that robber twice in the face. As, he's tr as he was trying to slit your throat, you could have just pointed it at him and you know he would have ran off. Just because that masked gunman was trying to carjack you, you didn't have to wash his mouth out with buckshot and leave him splattered all over the pavement. You've seen the stories. And to make it worse, all of the um, USCCA, those criminals, all the videos and stories of them dropping clients when the clients need them the most, if USCCA can't handle certain cases, I am screwed. I know it depends on the situation. However, with the USCCA thing, people are paying their money for that peace of mind and when they really need it, pfft, good luck, Chuck. Yeah, that's always been a worry for me. Having to use my gun in a self-defense shooting Chime in below, let me know if that's been a worry for any of you guys. Do you all worry about having to use your weapon in a self-defense shooting? Are you more worried about the shooting or the aftermath? Because for me, it's the aftermath. Check the comment section. Check the comment section. New gun owners are spoiled. Is that gonna work? Is that gonna work for y'all? Better work, you have no choice. First comment came from Desert Tactical. <laughs> and he said, first. That was his comment, first. <laughs> oh man, y'all can't even, can y'all, you know what? I don't even think y'all can see this business. I'm gonna try to get the phone closer. And how's that? 
Well, shit, no, I can't see it because of the angle. Damn it. Second comment came from Tama Drummer 001. Wait a minute. This guy's commented before. I think he changed his name. I'm being nosy now, guys. I'm being nosy. Brian Sakarita. All right, Sicario. We're calling you Sicario, buddy. Brian Sicario. He is now the Sicario. Glock pistol numbers are in order of patent attainment. Aha. Uh -huh. He was commenting to the previous video where someone mentioned the way they number Glocks makes no sense, which I agreed with. So he's clarifying that for us. Glock 17 was Glock's 17th patent and so forth and so on and so forth. The 44 is actually the 22 long rifle. It's crazy, but that's the way they get their numbers. Okay. That explanation makes sense. I still think it's it's ridiculous that they do it that way. It's pretty much like the the 9/11 world. For you guys that know about the 9/11s, like a like a 996 is not a 1996 Porsche 911. A 997 Porsche 911 is not a 1997. But I digress. I miss talking about cars. Next comment came from Nola Gospel Tracks, and he said the FNX is still on my list because I think it's the only gun. Notice how he spelled gun. He put G underscore U underscore N because YouTube sometimes flags people's comments for writing guns or firearms. It's ridiculous. The YouTube for gun channels is out of control. The only gun in 45 Auto that comes optic ready. Too bad most of my favorite pieces are not red dot friendly. Bam, <clears throat> CZ. I think he's responding to something I said about the FNX 45, how it was one of my favorites in a previous video. Nola Gospel, that uh, CZ, is it worth the hype? Would I be disappointed if I got one of those? I like how they look, the CZ Shadow, especially the, sh the Shadow 2 Compact. Have you all seen the Shadow 2 Compact? <clears throat> the dimensions on that, they took a sexy pistol and made it even sexier. I want it. I don't need it, but I want it. Next comes from Locked and Loaded. I think he has a channel. I could be wrong. Locked and Loaded said, getting a Canic, Canic SFX next month. Gonna make a video about it. Excellent! Matter of fact, if you're watching this, Sir Locked and Loaded, did you get the Canic? And two, did you make a video? You know what? Bump that, let's find out. Let's find out if he made a video. <laughs> I'm snooping your channel, guy. I'm snooping your channel. My home defense AR pistol. Ba, ba, ba. Dive into my EDC. <clears throat> Excuse me. Oh, he's got that sweet reflex. Glock 17 overview eight days ago. Okay, so his first video dropped eight days ago. Y'all might want to check him out. Next, Zane Douglas. Oh, Dougie said, when I first became a gun owner, the only PCCs available were either high points or Gucci rifles. The abundance of all different types of PCCs today in every conceivable price bracket and in pistol lengths and that use common pistol magazines is a place where I'm really feeling spoiled today. I'm also digging the rising trend in tactical lever guns. See, I knew it. I knew we were spoiled as new gun owners. Oh, I gotta move it up. I knew we were spoiled because we get all this good stuff today. Like he said, so many options for PCCs, which apparently you didn't have back in the day. So I became a gun owner at the right time. Y'all are gonna cringe when I say this, but Palmetto State Armory, <laughs> they have that, um, AKV, which obviously is an AK chambered in 9mm. I want that. He mentioned the rising trend in tactical lever action guns. I've noticed that that seems to be a growing, a new growing popularity. Strange. Oh well, I may learn to like them over time. Who knows? My taste in firearms has been changing. Next, Pewzilla, my island brother. He said, spoiled, and I love it. Coming from owning firearms for about 10 years, I've seen the changes in firearms. Love it. See, he knows. About 10 years, he's been in, he's been in the gun ownership game long enough to see a few significant changes. 
it makes me excited. Like I can't wait to see what changes I'll be able to experience. And I can look back on it and damn, is that it? Man, this video must have sucked. And like no comments. Pewzilla commented again. What's the main YouTube channel? <laughs> I am never sharing my main channel, gun people. Never. <laughs> I will say this though. There's been two people from my main channel that chimed in on the main channel and they're like, hey, are you Stormtrooper? They're like, I swear you're Stormtrooper. This guy sounds exactly like you. So they know to keep it hush hush. With this channel, I, I'm trying to you know, contain it on my own. I like the main channel where all the friends and family and everybody knows about it. This channel, this channel right here, nobody knows about it. Nobody, and I'm, I'm just trying to keep it that way. You know? Well, hope you enjoyed my crappy video. If you enjoyed this video in any way, shape, or form at all, Good, I'm glad you did. Chime in, comment below. Let us know about your experience as a new gun owner. What worried you as a new gun owner? Shit, what do you still worry about as a new or older gun owner? Until next time, peace and chicken grease. Yo, I don't know why, it's just me. The 43X with the front serrations and the the beveled end on the slide, it looks good, it actually works, but on the giant, Glock 17, the beveled front, it, it's weird looking, isn't it? When I stared at it on camera, it looks off-putting. It changed the shape of Glocks too much. I think my next Glock, my next Glock I purchased will be a mm -hmm. Glock 19 in Gen 3. Specifically because I want the old school boxy squared off slide. I, I find those quite sexy. Pretty sure I'm gonna go that route next for my next Glock. However, my second EDC purchase has been made today. Today. So it is on the way. Well, it's, well, well, today's, today's actually Sunday, so nothing's getting shipped today. <laughs> but uh, yeah, my second EDC, this the SIG has been purchased. So who knows, it'll be here sometime next week. Once again, peace, double peace. Double the chicken grease.